Hey, what's up guys? So this video is about uh, my hairstyle. So I'm going to change my hairstyle a little bit. So yeah, um, I'm going to change my hairstyle uh, from 2019. I kind of got bored of uh, my hairstyle currently and uh, I was thinking about, I was like doing a shopping because this is Boxing Dates, filming this video, 2018, end of 2019. So everybody, every, all the stores are doing like 20, 30%, even 50% discount. So like it was like looking around, seeing if I like or find some like nice black winter jacket, like a trench coat kind of style. And then I realized they're like, mm -mm, there's a really guy, like a guy was like a slick back hair, so it's like really nice and stylish. And uh, I was growing, I was growing in my top um, a little bit. So, and I looked up on the internet, like I need a four to six inch, which is like a 10 centimeter um, to uh, really sit back to do a slick back. So today's video is about, you know, me changing my hairstyle to trying the slick back, but it's, it's harder for Asian hair because they are thicker. So it takes more, um, farmer uh, control of the hair using the hair wax, uh, styling wax, gel, um, other cream. But yeah, see, uh, you know, my hairstyle right now, I just took shower, uh, I did a hair trimming. So I took shower, washed my hair, and then, you know, trimmed my side. And then what I did was, um, right after taking shower, I, uh, I used hair dryer to, to really push back my hair the backward like this and this way and this way side both way and like that and then after that um top part is okay but i think in few months it's gonna grow much much longer so it's gonna sit back sit back much much easier um but anyways i was using a hair dryer and also using i use uh, coconut oil to uh style my hair because i don't like gel or especially hair wax because it's sticky and i don't like it i don't like to i don't like my hands to get like sticky so like i use a uh, coconut oil which, which is good because it's not damaging to my hair and also it's moisturizing and if you go out it kind of gets uh, a little bit firm so that's how i style today uh fresh um but top part is not i guess long enough yet um, but good enough, if I use a hairdryer, it'll sit back, you know, nicely a little bit. But I'm gonna probably use like, you know, I need probably a few months for a top hair to grow longer um, so that it'll sit back nicely and easier for me to style. Um, so yeah, um, that's that. Um, I checked on Google, uh, as far as I know, uh, for Asian guys to do a slick back, um, it's not common. Um, but I always wanted to uh, try it, especially that if you watch YouTube uh, videos, there's a fitness guy uh, based in uh, Amsterdam, I can't remember his name, but, but he does like slick back hair sound and I thought it's super cool. Um, also, if you want to have, um, this is like kind of a tip for a men's hairstyle and a men's style, but uh, for guys, um, it is, you know, if you have higher body fat percentage or lower body fat percentage, which one is gonna look more attractive as a guy? Which one is gonna look more masculine? Answer is easy. The guy with low body fat is gonna look much, much more attractive because you know the more pro uh, pronounced the jaw, uh, cheekbones and also jawline, jawline here and also like here, this B line or whatever it's called. Uh, lower your body fat is uh, more the defined line here and then here it's gonna show up and which is nice because especially for guys girls as well but like wide jaw is considered attractive globally so think about superman the guy right the guy has quite a bit of a developed jaw here like muscles and then jawline um so i found that to be uh, also masculine as well uh, so lower body fat more you know cheekbone and the jawline um, defined which is nice and also other thing um, um, is that so that slimmer the face like this line is uh, much more healthier you look and masculine and for hairstyle there's a trick to pronounce that or to kind of offset your facial structure so I used to have a lot of like you know um, chubby face um, I used to have a lot of more um, face fight if you call it um especially true for uh, asian people typically even if they're not that 
obese or chubby or fat. I was kind of like a skinny fat guy. So even if I didn't have much body fat on my body, but my face retained so much, still I retained quite a bit of my face considering my body fat is like 7%, 8%, maybe 9%, I don't know. Um, um, but to offset the round face, what you want to do with your hairstyle, that's a tip, is that you want to have like shorter sides here and then, then longer top so that your face is going to look much more like thinner and then longer this way. So there's a famous uh, YouTube, a fitness YouTuber called Steve Cook, a uh, big fan of him. And he said in his video himself that he is very well uh, aware about uh, his wide facial structure. And then for him to offset that, he says, and if you look at his video, it's obvious that his sides are extremely short. Uh, that's his, uh, his uh, hairstyle. Um, tip. Now I completely agree because my face used to be a lot more, depending on uh, how long my sides are, I could look so much more chubbier, uh, which is not good for me uh, personally. Some people like round face. I, I typically like baby face. Um, uh, it's better because you're gonna retain more body fat and collagen so that when you grow older, you're not gonna be like super, um, you're not gonna be like bony looking. You know, typical like dragon lady, like no no face fat, just blonde, which is not healthy, right? So I like to retain a little bit face fat and look at having the baby face. Um, but at the same time, uh, you need to kind of optimize how you look based on your facial structure, um, your skull shape, and uh, your body fat. So I'm going to grow my hair, especially the top one, so that I can do a uh, slick back hair. Um, um, I used to do like a size, like one side, and then like I don't know what it's um, how to do, how to call the hairstyle name. Shades, no shades is here. It's like gradient, you know, shorter bottom and then a little bit longer top. Uh, that's shades. Uh, not that one, but slick on the side, like to the side. I used to do that. I kind of grow tired, so now I'm doing it. Um, other thing that I want to talk about uh, in terms of men's style, uh, hairstyle, and uh, physique, because it's important. If you if you if you don't take care of your body first, then no matter what kind of a uh, um, um, outfit uh, you pick up, how no matter how expensive that jacket or t-shirt or shorts uh, they are, they're not gonna look good on you if you don't have that raw nice body um, underneath. Um, but the opposite is also uh, true as well. Even if you are really nice and toned and have a nice muscles, if you wear ill-fitted ill -fitted, um, outfits, like a little bit a baggy jacket or jeans, uh, I used to have a lot of problem with that because in North America, I'm, I'm pretty short. Uh, so it's hard for me to find uh, really nicely fitted clothes. Um, especially if you go to like just random stores, especially the worst ones are like Banana Republic, uh, Walmart for sure, or random stores because they have not really styled jeans or t-shirts or shirts and jackets. They're so baggy and they're cheap, but I, I never buy those stuff. Even H&M, um, uh, they're not really styled. Especially for my physique, um, I don't know, slimmer, um, I need a fit, what is it called, a skinny fit kind of style. So. I usually buy, I usually go to like Topman, Topman is great. Zara doesn't really have a, like a skinny fit one. Zara's small is a little too big for me, like especially the length from shoulder to my hand. So Topman is really nice because uh, they have like skinny fit one, a small, even like medium fits me really well. Uh, Zara, a little bit big for me still, and also not too stylish. I mean, style. They, they, I went to da Zara and I found a pretty nice jacket, trench coat. It is very stylish. I think Zara is one of the most stylish slash inexpensive store. Like jacket, you can buy it for like hundred or hundred fifty dollars. Just really nice compared to like a Boss, which can cost you like five hundred or easy seven hundred dollars. Those are for styles. Those are for like brands, and I don't think you necessarily need those super duper expensive uh, outfit to look good. Um, so you kind of need to optimize your know, cost versus uh, style, fitting. So Zara is nice. Um, I never buy it from H&M or 
uh, yeah, I never buy from H and M anymore because the materials are so cheap. So once you wash it, like T-shirts, a few times, it's gonna be so wrinkly. Whereas uh, Topman's T-shirts, it's pretty nice. It does, um, it's it is durable, and the style is really nice, like muscle T-shirts from uh, maybe not from Zara, muscle T, muscle T from uh, other one, but um, but yeah, also like uh, New York cards. New York cards so cheap. But uh, they're so like their small or medium is best perfect perfect size for me. And also they're like uh, muscle fit, uh, skinny fit. They're like really tight, so it's easy and uh, it looks nicer, especially on a trained toned body because you can you can show a little bit of you know contour um, um, definition um, using those I don't know tight clothes. So that's how, in terms of a uh, workout. Uh, this is the most important thing. Yes, fitness matters. No, yes, styles, hairstyle matters. Yes, uh, fashion, uh, men's fashion matters, of course. But if you don't take care of that most important ingredient, which is your body, then, you know, if you're like 200 pounds or 300 pounds obese, and then no matter how expensive the clothes you're gonna buy, it's not gonna look good on you because the underlying structure is not scalable. So in terms of physique, I'm still working out five times a week, um, doing a lean bulking um, um, and also carb cycling, which is a kind of advanced at diving, but it's not that it's not that hard. It's kind of like cheat meal two, two days a week, but it's not quite cheat meal because you still control diet and you know, daily caloric intake. So it's more like a controlled refeed day, two days, and then other two days are kind of medium kind of balancing out protein and carb. And then the other two days are uh, super low on carbohydrates and high in fat and protein. So basically going up and down like that in terms of carb, carb intake. That's what I do um, in terms of uh, physique, which is quite important. And next year, I mean, I already started doing it, but um, so if you don't know, I did compete for men's physique last May in Vancouver, I took second place by a small competition room, so it's not a big deal. It's not like I'm super jacked or anything, but it still feels good to uh, get rewarded for my uh, hard work. Uh, this is my, th that was my second competition. Um, but anyway, so this is another tip uh, for a guy, especially physique like mine, uh, to look really masculine you need certain parts of the body and muscles to be like big. So I like to watch another fitness YouTuber called Matt Das Fitness. He's a UK based uh, bodybuilder YouTuber. And I especially like his uh, uh, bodybuilder, like 10,000 calorie challenge or like all you can eat, like cheat meal, because uh, I'm I, I like sweets. But his traps are humongous. And if you look at the, his old picture and now, that his selling point, his the biggest advantage, his biggest strength is traps and also V V line on uh, obliques and abdominals. So if you have like a big shoulder, if you look at uh, a little bit of uh, men's physique competitions video, the guy, the guy, guys usually the guys who look bigger than other guys usually are not the guys who have a uh, big mus muscles and biceps or triceps or chest. It's usually guys with big lats, like a back here, and also traps. You know why? Because you have to take a definition, right? Outline, outline, like out, outline defining. Muscles inside doesn't really define, like it doesn't expand. It's, it's, it's 2D, right? It's 2D when you're looking at the body from the front, 2D. So width and the height kind of thing. It doesn't, you don't really see depth so much. So from the front, you can't really grow um, biceps to the side, like you know, wider. It's it's depth. It's more depth depth here, not like here. So from the front, like when you're taking picture or video, what matter is height or width. So in terms of height, like here, the tra trapezius, uh, trapezius, it, it really matters. And also defining. For width here, right? So it's better to have like you know diverse T-shaped body. So wide lats, like latissimus dorsi, a back here, it really matters. So I started focusing, especially my uh, tra trapezius is make my weakness. So I tend to look a little bit like I have like a my shoulder seems smaller because I don't have I, I do have a big amount of uh, traps, but my bone structure is not like this um, on a normal posture. It's this. So even if I have a little bit of trapezius to offset my uh, 
natural posture, like the body, like bone structure, still I look a little bit smaller because it's not like this. This like, you know, kind of like if you look at the Michael Phillips, like the swim swimmers, they usually have a big shoulder, right? Wide and a thick neck. So this looks much masculine than this, right? So I need to, I want to offset that by building more trapezes here. And also in terms of, uh, you know, back, I want to have more uh, width here. So I'll show you a little bit of um, my physique. I haven't done a physique video for a long time. I don't know this is better now. But yeah, so what I'm talking about is trapezes here. So I do have a devoted trapezes, but my bone structure is not right. So, so this looks much smaller skin here than this. So if you look at the YouTube of Matt Desfinis, he has humongous trapezes here. So it's the genetics for bone structure plus his big muscles. And uh, from front, you want to have uh, here this uh, wide back and then diverse tissue so abdominals matters so like obliques and the mat does mat has a super duper defined a beat and i don't have one this is genetics plus muscle but mostly genetics here i don't have one but um so yeah trapezius in the back how about i i, I welcome biceps but uh more on here the next year so from behind it's like trapezius like this here and then traps and then lats here <sighs> like that so yeah anyway so i'm still working five times a week But yeah, so that concludes um, um, style. Uh, I kind of talked about thinness. I kind of talked about hairstyle. I talked about um, the fashion. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm gonna make more kind of a, more videos, kind of like daily stuff. But what I'm focusing on, also I'm gonna talk about studying for uh, computer science, software engineering exam, especially AWS uh, certificate. Also planning to. Uh, film and upload more videos about meditation, reading books, or eating. Uh, I want to make this my YouTube channel more oriented uh, toward uh, growth and uh, mindfulness. So anything to do with uh, growth and mindfulness, I want to post that though. So fitness for sure. Uh, I want to do a workout with me video. I want to do meditate with me video. I want to do uh, read with me. I want to do study with me for sure. I want to do shop with me. But yeah, if you have any questions or recommendations or suggestions, any in the comments, let me know in the comment section um, or uh, video suggestion as well. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Happy New Year's. Bye bye.